some of my favorite days out of the year is when The Sims 4 drops a patch update and not only a patch update to fix the game, but when they give us free stuff. So we're gonna take a look at the newest patch update and jump right in. We did get some cast items. So one of the first things you might notice is that we now have a new gallery icon with the light bulb and a heart inside with little uh, lights coming from it. This is the new gallery icon. Nothing has changed with the gallery, but we do have a new icon up here. It's kind of cute. It's kind of snazzy, but I don't know why they changed it. <laughs> so the reason why we got new creative sim items is because the Sims team did announce that we will be getting the Sims 4 Fashion Street Kit and the Sims 4 Incheon Arrivals Kit coming October 5th. So because we're getting these kits, we got a couple items that are inspired from these kits also, and they just give us a little taste of what those kits entail. So starting with the hairs, we did get three new hairs, which um everyone can wear them <laughs> kids toddlers men mm. women all of them so that's pretty cool i think they're you know really simple i really love the texture on this curly hair right here i think the back looks really really nice except for the fact that if you like go through the swatches her eyelashes change <laughs> so that needs to be fixed and i'm pretty sure they'll fix it because it's like you know but yeah ooh, oversight you know what i mean but i really like the hairs i think they're really nice and like i said i love that the kids can also wear them kids and toddlers look at them so cute so yeah definitely hook them up with some new hairs and speaking of hairs there is one hair that actually got converted to base game and that's this hair that came with parenthood now parenthood game pack that is like one of my favorite game packs and i have no idea what the thought process was or what like the decision maker was to make this base game i'm happy for people that only have base game but i just don't get why this was made base game so i have no answer for you it's one of my favorite hairs actually with that pack so i'm glad that you know it's in base game for you know more selection i'm for it this outfit leans more towards the fashion street kit that we are getting and i love it it's vibrant colors it's really nice i actually have a family called the bandaris on my channel right now you can check them out and they would look wonderful in these clothing items right here before i forget before i continue on with the rest of the outfits we did get one new tattoo for base game and let me take off this new bracelet that we got as well apparently we got a new tattoo this henna tattoo right ah. here however i could have sworn this came with city living correct me if i'm wrong but i just remember seeing it and using it so i'm not sure if they just made this and converted this base game but i wouldn't call it new if that was the case and we also have some new accessories we have this beautiful bracelet that goes really well with the new outfit and then the next outfit is supposed to go with the enchiana rivals kit which is supposed to be inspired by iconic soul uh airport fashion so i'm really excited for that kit like really excited for that one because i just watch a lot of korean tv mm -hmm. <laughs> so i'm like i wanted I, I can already tell like some outfits i've seen and i love the color swatches that they went with these items i think they're very calming and i'm all about that calm chill look so i really like that a lot heading over to my men here we do have a turban now which is super awesome i really love this it comes in a couple of swatches here that are very beautiful vibrant as usual and then in the outfit section we have again this is for the fashion street kit that we're supposed to get that's inspired by um, designs in Mumbai so I think this is nice if you guys are familiar with fashion there definitely let me know what you what you would rate it one to five I don't know if it's me or not but I think this beard got a texture update. Let me know if I'm just late to the party. I love this because it's not like dead straight. Like it has a little, little bit of texture to it. I really want some more coarse texture beards. Hello, if anyone's listening, that's what I want. <laughs> Going to the next outfit, we have this full body outfit. And again, it kind of looks like the one that we saw with the ladies and I love it. The color swatches are uh, consistent throughout. I didn't even know what shoes to pair this with. So if the outfit's not hitting, it's my fault. Don't blame my Sam, it's my, it's my fault. We also got this new bottom for men and it's just like, you know, really nice pattern um, skirt. So we are in game and this is a family that I made, the Coopers. They are 100% base game. And also this is a three bedroom base game only home that I made also in this on my gallery. I just had to let y'all know that because it's kind of hard to find some base game stuff, but I will definitely, most definitely be building more base game, especially with this update. This is a huge update because long story short, the Sims team added 1,200 new variants to 149 items and base game that we already have let's start with the outside stuff so all 64 of our present day base game windows have got 
updated. When I was choosing a swatch for this window, I hated that there was brown in the window. <laughs> I wanted it to be white. So boom, I can like fix those right now if I want to. I'm not gonna go through every window because that's unnecessary, okay? We know what the windows look like. Just keep that in mind the next time you are placing windows down that every base game window has gotten updated. These are not all of the plants, but a lot of the base game plants got updated with new swatches, which I really like. A lot of the times I would wonder like why we only got a couple swatches because like flowers and stuff are so colorful and everything. So it's like, shouldn't we? <laughs> um, I love that these daisies got updated because normally they would be in a white swatch, I believe. And so it's really nice that, you know, they can change colors too. Our planners got to update again. Like I said, this isn't everything. And I'm going to link you guys to like, they literally took a screenshot of all the items that actually got updated. But I love that we have different color planner boxes now. So if you had that as a mod, go ahead and get rid of it. It's okay. Now you can <laughs> actually have different color planters and stuff like that. I'm not someone that's a fan of the color wheel, like I said. So I'm okay with having swatches that they designate as long as we have the basics. You know, like just give us the basics and I'm cool with that. And then you can add whatever crazy, funky, quirky swatches you want. Uh, the science table also got renovated. I mean, <laughs> updated. Like what in the world? It definitely needs a renovation though. Um, but one really cool thing, some of the wallpaper, like some of the stone got updated as well. Um, speaking of kids to kids items, these toys got updated. So I'm really happy because as you can see, um, you know, we're getting a little bit of diversity here. All action figures aren't white. So it's kind of cool that we <laughs> got that little update right there. So I'm kind of glad that they updated the swatches on the action figures. Um, they also updated the base game curtains. I mean, this is just me showing you some of the things that got Got updated but using the items in this house because it's base game I felt like it was more fitting than laying out all those items and it just looked like a big headache all of the wooden swatches are consistent throughout so that's really exciting uh we also have look at this I can have bright plain yellow curtains these were the old swatches you see that ah like no this is so 2014 one of the beds got updated as well uh the wood on this bed which is really cool and this mirror which uh, again like i would have barely noticed this because i barely use this mirror i just place down whatever swatch is available so i'm kind of glad that you know they let us know what they updated otherwise it would get really confusing but a lot of the wood tones like i said are even throughout and consistent so now everything can match like this whole all of this matches now in the bookshelf too like the bookshelf only had a couple of swatches and it was like what in the world <laughs> i need my dark woods i need all of that so it's really cool that they all match now so everything matches and it looks good also this coffee mug rack i thought that was cool that this i think this only came in one swatch before so i'm really glad that they updated that also and my fave i use these counters religiously i know i do i know it's like oh my gosh you use them way too much <laughs> these got updated Ooh, this is giving me sims 2 vibes right now with me placing it like this look at this they got updated um and also the vault counters as well I'm really happy about this update because i do use these counters a lot they look very old-fashioned remind me of my childhood so i just really really like them <laughs> i love this already i want to keep it like this let's let's just chocolify the whole house okay one cool thing as well is that this stove does not only come in the old funky colors we also have a nice black okay to go with this swatch of the refrigerator and we also can do that with the trash can as well i use this coffee maker quite a lot so i love that we just have a simple silver swatch here wait a minute before i forget we have some base game floors i gotta update and it would be quite disrespectful of me to not show you guys Ooh. Oh, look at that. Look at this. I almost ended this video without showing you guys the new floors that got a got a little swatch update as well. I was like, oh my gosh, look at the Sims team working overtime. This one got an update as well. I was like, oh my gosh, yay, because I never ever use this floor ever because it looks like wooden planks. It looks like it hurts the toes. Ah, this is just so aesthetically pleasing. The woods are all like even. I'm just really happy though with the update overall. Anytime that the base game gets updated, I I always get really excited because you know not everybody has all of these packs i rode that struggle bus before and it, it just like you know it takes a little bit of time to get certain packs and um i am extremely grateful that i'm able to get these packs and kind of like you know instantly have them so that i can show you guys like what what i love about them and everything but the base game is something that i do feel like needs heavily hevel <laughs> heavy work and i can't shy away from that because that's just the truth so when we do have little things like this it's like really cool um my thing is i'm just waiting for some base game updates because they put this thing up called the season of selves um and it says something about being able to play the 
game in unique new ways and so i'm really looking forward to that because i mean this is all great and all and i love a thousand swatches but i also need a thousand new ways to play because <laughs> um it's been it's since 2014 you know but i hope you guys enjoyed this if you have any questions comments and you just want to leave love go ahead and drop it in the comment section down below if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment subscribe just keep simming always 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 stay wavy and i will see you in the next video Alrighty, peace out